Almost everyone knows about the JavaScript alert boxes, but it is one of those items which almost no one ever uses and there are good reasons not to use it. They may have their utility in the past when JavaScript applications were not all the craze like they are today, but also over the years, users' expectations of front-end has evolved so much. JavaScript alert box is a modal dialog, hence it prevents clicking on anything else unless the dialog is closed. For this reason, this alert box cannot be overused. Also, it is not possible to style the alert box as it uses the system UI elements. Similar to alert box, there are other functions built into JavaScript like confirm and prompt which look useful but have the same problems and limitations like alert box. Now let's come to the main part. Sweet Alert is a JavaScript library which provides us a very good alternative to quickly set up these kinds of dialogs for confirmation or any other simple UI inputs. Also Sweet Alert is promise based so it can easily fit with the UI of any existing JavaScript framework. Let's now see what are the features of Sweet Alert and how it can be used. But before that, if you think that you like this video at any point while watching it, then please be sure to like it and also subscribe to this channel for staying updated with more such kind of videos. So Sweet Alert can be used to create a variety of different model dialogs from just confirmation to accepting input values. To install Sweet Alert, you can either use npm and then execute npm install and then Sweet Alert. Or you can fetch the script file within your browser using a script element and setting the src value to its CDN URL. So Sweet Alert can be used in a variety of different ways. We can either provide an object as an argument to the Sweet Alert function and then within that options object, we can provide values for different properties like the title, message, etc. Or we can also provide the different values as arguments to the Sweet Alert function itself. So to add a simple message with a title, you just have to call SWAL which stands for Sweet Alert and then you will have to provide a title and then you will have to provide the message. When we will click on the button then a dialog will be opened with the title and the message that we entered and when we will either click outside or when we will click on the button, the dialog will be closed. The only difference between these two actions is then when we will capture the response of the user then we will get two different values each for either clicking outside to close the dialog and for clicking on this ok button to close the dialog. We can also open up a sweet alert dialog with info icons. For example, when an operation is successful then we can simply provide the argument success to show a success icon like this one, this tick mark. Similar to this, we can show other icons as well like for warning, error, And there is one to show an informational message as well so like this one so over here we are providing the different values as arguments to this function but we can also provide an options object and within the options object we can provide a bunch of different properties with their values so over here we are providing the title text icon and also the text for the button within this object so now when we will click this button then the dialog which will be opened will have these values the title, the message, icon is warning and the button text is click me please. Whenever a sweet alert dialog will receive a response then it will resolve a promise and we can then call another function when that promise will be resolved. So to do that we just have to use the sweet alert and then dot then and then we can execute or call any function when the promise will be resolved. When I am clicking on this ok button then you can see another dialog is being opened because when the promise has been resolved then another sweet alert function has been called with this message. Now the value of this response argument will depend upon how the sweet alert dialog with this hello world message is being closed. So you can associate some kind of logic with the response type as well if you ever want to do it. There are some other features available to sweet alert library as well. Like we can set a danger mode property to prevent user from doing a dangerous action like deleting some data. So over here in this sweet alert function call there is the title, there is the text, icon and then there is a property buttons. So we cannot use the properties buttons and this single button together because 
buttons is going to provide a cancel button but the button is going to provide a text for the button so we cannot use these two properties altogether and then the danger mode property when set to true what this will do is it will not set the initial focus on the ok button and the ok button will also come with a red color to show that for example if we are about to delete something or if the user is about to delete something then we can tell the user that this is an action which cannot be reverted so they must be careful in doing it so this is how the danger mode property works so this is the dialog you can see that the cancel button has focus right now and the ok button is red so when i will click on enter then it will be cancelled but right now the ok button has focus so when i will click on it then it will give us a different response and based on that response we can perform different actions we can also add as many buttons as we want by adding them as properties to the options object when any button is clicked then in the promise you can check the value of the button clicked to handle them differently you can also use sweet alert with async responses by invoking the alert when any promise is resolved also html elements can be set as content of dialogues so if you want to show some custom content in the sweet alert dialogues then you can do that too so these were some of the main features of sweet alert library which i think cover most of the actions that we need to do with these kinds of dialogues Still, you can take a look at Sweet Alert's GitHub page and documentation to learn more about it. And that would be everything in this video. I'm Nitej. Take care and have fun.